I'm going to guide us through a quick tapping sequence to help with removing blocks to feeling grateful. So don't worry if you haven't tapped before, you can just copy what I'm doing and you'll still get great results. What I'd like you to do first is just tune into how you feel either emotionally or in your body as you hear me say or even repeat after me the following sentences. So I should feel grateful for all the blessings in my life. Feeling grateful is fun and safe. And the last one is, uh, feeling grateful brings more blessings into my life. So just tune in, notice if you feel any kind of constriction or any feelings that feel tense or tight or in any way anything less than positive and expansive. <laughs> just tune into where those are in your body. If you don't feel any when you hear those three sentences, then this might not be the tapping sequence for you, but you can still try it and see what happens. <laughs> And we'll get started tapping on the side of the hand. <laughs> so even though I have some blocks to feeling grateful, I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Even though I've got some blocks to feeling really grateful, I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Even though I've got some things blocking me from feeling more grateful in my life, I'm still open to loving and accepting myself anyways. And tap on the top of the head. I've got some blocks to feeling grateful. Tap on the eyebrow. I have some things stopping me from feeling more grateful. Tap on the side of the eye. I have some things stopping me from feeling more grateful in my life. Tap underneath the eye. I mean, I should feel grateful for all the blessings that I have in my life, shouldn't I? <laughs> Tap under the nose and just tune into how you feel when you hear that sentence again. It might be that you have a sense of being somehow bad or unworthy for not feeling grateful enough tap under the lips or maybe someone has even called you ungrateful or told you that you're not grateful or at least not grateful enough tap on the collarbone I should feel grateful for all the blessings in my life tap underneath the arm and just tune into where you have any kind of feelings of guilt or shame about all the blessings that you have in your life it might even be that people have been hurt or jealous because of all the good things that you've had in your life or maybe you've even expressed gratitude for those things and someone has thought that you were bragging or some way trying to hurt them by saying that you were grateful for those things just tune into that and tap on the top of the head I should be grateful for all the blessings that I have in my life tap on the eyebrow and just notice if there's anything left for you around that sentence it might even be that you feel badly because other people don't have all the things that you have in your life. Tap on the side of the eye. I should feel grateful for all the blessings that I have in my life. And it's fun and safe to feel grateful. Tap under the eye and just see how you feel about that. It could be that feeling grateful hasn't really felt that fun and safe for you. Tap under the nose. It might be that you learned gratitude um, kind of mistakenly, tap under the lips, by, by having someone point out to you how bad your life would be without certain things that you could be grateful for, or maybe how much other people hurt because they don't have certain things that you have. For example, clean drinking water or food, those kind of things especially. Tap on the collarbone. Feeling grateful is fun and safe. Just see if anything else comes up for you there. It might be that you've expressed gratitude before and it hasn't really felt safe to do so. Maybe someone has criticized you for doing it. They misinterpreted it, perhaps. Tap under the arm. It's fun and safe to feel grateful. Just see if anything else comes up for you that maybe feeling grateful didn't feel so good at one time. tap on the top of the head. It's fun and safe to feel grateful and feeling grateful brings more blessings my way. Tap on the eyebrow. Just tune into that statement and see how that feels. It might be that you've started to, um, to feel almost like obligated to feel grateful. <laughs> tap on the side of the eye or you might feel like you're greedy or selfish for feeling grateful if you think that it will bring you more things. <laughs> Tap underneath the eye. 
This can be kind of like when you're a kid and um, you get like a sticker and a chart for doing some chore that you don't want to do. So it might feel that gratitude was like a chore that you had to do but didn't really want to. Tap under the nose. And then you got some kind of reward for it. So you might associate that with any number of feelings, you know, from feeling um, greedy or like you have ulterior motives to even just feeling like it's not something you want to do because it's hard work. Tap under the lips. Feeling grateful brings more blessings my way. And notice if there's anything else that comes up, especially with respect to actually having more blessings come into your life. Tap on the collarbone. It might be that you've had some pain in your life from getting some of the blessings that you've had. Maybe people have criticized you for it or been jealous of you. Tap underneath the arm. So those feelings might be coming up here again that somehow you're going to hurt somebody or get hurt yourself if you have more blessings come into your life. So you don't want to risk feeling grateful and having that happen. <laughs> and tap on the top of the head. Feeling grateful brings more blessings into my life. Tap on the eyebrow. Feeling grateful is fun and safe. And tap on the side of the eye. And I should feel grateful for all the blessings that I have in my life. Tap underneath the eye. Ah, I clearly have had some blocks to gratitude. <laughs> Tap under the nose. No wonder I maybe didn't want to feel it, because I thought it felt bad and icky. Tap under the lips. And I was worried that it would hurt other people, and it felt like a lot of work anyways. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone. But I'm open to releasing those blocks to gratitude. Tap under the arm. And just welcoming more and more gratitude into my life. Alright, and we'll pause and just take a deep breath. And just check in as I repeat those same three sentences. Or you can even repeat them out loud. So. I should feel grateful for all the blessings that I have in my life. It's fun and safe to feel grateful. And feeling grateful brings more blessings my way. So notice how you feel now. See if anything has shifted at all. I bet it has. <laughs> you can always tap through this sequence again to help remove even more or maybe have more specific events come up. When you did notice specific events coming up throughout that sequence, those can be a really great thing to work on with the tell the story technique to really get deep healing of the underlying pain and really invite more gratitude into your life. <laughs> <laughs>